This is the facelifted Volkswagen Passat, making its way into the Malaysian market very early in 2020, ready to take on the Malaysian D segment. Available in just one trim, elegant trim in this case, this car comes in at 187,990 ringgit, making it an incredibly good value purchase within the Malaysian D segment. Now, there are some changes, some exciting, some a little bit dour, but the new Passat certainly aims to offer one of the best experiences within the Malaysian D segment. So now let's take a look at some of the changes that have been made to the 2020 Passat in greater detail. So with the facelifted Passat, there are some small changes made in the front. So there's a new bumper, as per usual, as well as these new LED headlights, which have a slightly more intricate uh, light design on the inside, as well as scrolling indicators for the first time in the Volkswagen Passat. Now, the front still has that full width or very wide grille with a nice 3D pattern to it, again, just to make it look a little bit more elegant within the segment. It's worth noting that this is the new Volkswagen badge as well, um, because well, it's part of their new corporate identity, it's a little bit more 2D, but it looks good. So that's all that we've got in the front. Now, actually, beneath the bonnet, there is a slightly bigger change. So while this car uses the same 2-litre TSI engine that this car was previously available in, the tune has been changed for this particular elegance model. So this engine now produces 190 PS and 320 Newton meters of torque, which is slightly down-tuned from what we used to get with the 2.0 TSI models. That said, this is now paired to a new 7-speed dual-clutch, wet-clutch automatic gearbox, the first implementation of this gearbox in a front-wheel drive Volkswagen. So that's all very exciting. Volkswagen Passenger Cars Malaysia assures that this gearbox will be very reliable. You didn't hear it from us, you heard it from Volkswagen Passenger Cars Malaysia. So now let's go move around to the back. Now, at the back of the new Passat, you can see that they're very proud of the fact that this is the second most popular Volkswagen to ever be sold in history, with over 30 million of these cars sold since its inception. And you can tell they're proud of it because they've very brazenly put the name just right across the boot lid. Now, there's a slightly different rear bumper, but the biggest news comes in the form of these new tail lights, which again now have a scrolling indicator, just like the ones in the front, but they also have a interesting welcome graphic where the internals light up in a certain sequence when you unlock the car, all very nice. What hasn't changed though is the boot. And when I say that, I mean both in terms of the electric tailgate, as well as the massive amount of space back here. You can very easily get away with four golf bags, I think, as well as all the race clubs, or a couple of dead bodies if you should so want to. So on the inside of the Passat, the changes are significant, but still relatively subtle. So for starters, you now have this massive infotainment screen right in the middle of it all, uh, covered in glass, so it looks really pretty, but it does attract quite a lot of fingerprints. But this isn't the only screen in here. The digital instrument cluster has just been updated for the 2020 Passat, and it looks amazing. The refresh rate on this is incredible, the graphics are great, and it's really, really snappy. Now, another thing that's been changed in the Passat, and this is quite significant, is the removal of the analog clock on the top of the dash. That's gone. Now you have the word Passat uh, written across it, which is either kind of nice or kind of naff. It depends on how your tastes are. But the bigger change comes in the form of the ambient lighting, which is now available in this car. And as a result, the interior here just feels really premium. And uh, by the way, I didn't know this. I just discovered this the same time you did. But if you just saw my hand swipe, it turns out that this infotainment screen has gesture control. So you can actually move the screen around just by waving. Kind of nice, huh? Now, in the back of the Passat, there are no changes at all. So you still have acres of legroom back here. You also get very comfortable sculpted seats. There's plenty of space here for three people. And most importantly, you still get your own rear climate control, which means that you can set yourself at a very specific temperature should you want to. Now, the Passat continues to offer generous amounts of room back here, which means that it is very suitable for those who look to be chauffeur-driven in their D-segment saloons, especially now that the Passat comes with these privacy blinds for people who want to um, shut people out, I guess.
There is one more aspect to the new facelifted Passat that we need to talk about, and that is safety. Now, with the facelift, the Passat now offers rear cross-traffic alert and blind spot monitoring for up to 70 meters of detection, which means that there are great upgrades available in the Malaysian D segment. However, we are slightly disappointed that there are still no autonomous emergency braking features, no collision warning features, or pedestrian detection features for this car. We did expect a little bit better from Volkswagen. That said, though, the Volkswagen Passat now cuts, or rather continues to cut, an incredibly elegant look in this segment. And at its price, it is incredibly good value, again, for a truly luxurious and continental feeling car. If you want to check out the full review of this car, please be sure to stay tuned to our channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon so you're notified every time we make a new upload, and follow us on our social media to get updates as and when. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.